Buddy, I can't- I can't see! It can't- Well, now- now you're drowned. <laughs> Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Simple Planes. My name is Weasel, and I hope you had a wonderful day. If not, I hope I can change that. Uh, this is one of the Weasel Zone creations. YouTube Weasel Zone tagged creations. The Flying Fortress by Lal. I hope I'm saying that right. It is a flying fortress. I don't- I don't feel I need to say much more about this. It's a little fortress. It has guns. <laughs> They shoot everywhere, that's awesome. You're basically indestructible at this point. You're, you're, how is this even, how is this even getting off the ground? There's no way. We have a door at the front. Can, can I close that with one or so? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure what that does. No, can't, can't close the door. Bummer. Oh god, this thing is so slow, yeah. Better, better put in those wheels. I bet that makes all the difference. Pull up, pull it up. Come on, come on. <laughs> No! We also ran out of fuel, so it happens. Now that was a flying fortress. Well, the big question is, is it gonna fly through the bridge? I, I have my doubts. I have some serious reservations about this operation. Oh, we can always shoot it, can't we? Well, that doesn't do anything. Yup, the wings are a little bit too big. Little bit too big. Bridge doesn't give a fuck. Bridge does not care. Yep, yeah, still flying. I mean, if you want to call that flying. That's a weird safe spot that I have. The the, the thing is upside down on the bridge. Maybe, maybe, oops. Okay. <laughs> that was great, Weasel. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Well, this is a squid. It is completely pointless and utterly useless, and it's going down into the depths of the sea. I mean, yeah, it's it's a squid by Hi, my name is Walrus. Well, it's a, it's a squid. I don't know why I was expecting anything else. <laughs> I love that even though useless creations, you can blow them up with F10. Would you look at that? We have a replica from the 1960s. The mission Apollo 11 liftoff. I think I think the original went better than that. First, if I understand correctly, we have to remove the arm. Fantastic. Okay, now the arms are removed. And yeah, we have liftoff. Pa fantastic. That is quite the fast start. <laughs> that is wonderful. That works really great. Well, 60,000 miles per hour shortly after liftoff. The crew is dead. Very dead. And I wonder... It doesn't control too well. I do appreciate the insane amount of flags on there. You, you gotta make sure there's at least three flags. Any less amount of flags and it's it's not... It's, it's basically useless. Uh, I'm trying to tilt it down, but it's not happening. Ugh, these rockets, they're so hard to steer. Well, you know what? What if I put some wings on there? Yeah, you know, just, just for good measure. Here, wing... They're completely the wrong way. They're gonna break off, Weasel. That's not how the wings should be, Weasel. Eh, whatever. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's still attached. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're flying. Or doing something. I don't know if you can call this flying. This is more of a controlled mid-air seizure right now. It's kind of beautiful, though, isn't it? Mesmerizing. Mmm. And... Trying to get it against the mountain. I'm really trying to crash this thing hard. Well, it's it's still going up. Eventually, it's gonna reach space. I mean, everyone in there is already basically mush and dead, but still, we're gonna... up. Oh, we're going down. Mission successful. Yeah, this is, this is how rockets fly in the weasel zone. Maybe not in real life, but in the weasel zone. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's a Wheatley! And this one actually fits better from the colors and is actually quite pretty. Look at you, Wheatley. Hey, check that out. Yeah, that's you. That- that is you in the game right now. How awesome is that? Right? Wheatley? You can <laughs> Buddy, I can't- I can't see! It can't- Well, now- now you're drowned. That's your fault. That's not mine. That's not my fault. You wanna step up, maybe? Maybe we're gonna come down? Have- have a seat. I was- I was just showing you your own plane! See? There you are. Flying. Proud. Like an eagle. Like- like the eagle you are. Oh, look at those feet! You even have little feet. Yes, and that's also how Wheatley flies. With- with rockets. He has his rockets. Show them your rockets, boy. Yeah, that's basically also his flying skill. He's actually a phenomenal flyer. He just gets stuck in trees. Yep, a bird gets stuck in trees. We had to call the fire department to get him down a huge tree he flew onto. 
Sorry, you blew up, Wheatley. I wonder if you can take off from the runway, or do you have to start in mid-air? Looks like you're having a nap there. You're not even paying attention to your own creation! Alright, let's see if you can fly through a bridge. Can you, Wheatley? Can you? I don't know. I'll try my hardest. I'm so sorry. I'm- I'm so sorry. I... I'm... I'm so sorry. This is a flying sword. I mean, because that is what a sword needed. What could you improve on a sword? Is it- is it to make it maybe even like sharper? Is it, you know, the size? No! Put some rockets and wheels on it and make it fly. Because that's practical. I'm gonna stab the bridge! I'm gonna stab it! Because that's a th- ah, um, Okay, I missed. Ugh. That actually worked kind of well, didn't it? I, I, I stabbed the bridge. Things you can only do in simple planes. Stabbing bridges. Alright, this here is called the Assault Minigame. I'm not entirely sure what this is about. You can- Okay, with one- one starts the game. What? What? What is happening? I don't get it. Yay! Shoot them all! Do I win? Do I- do I win? What happened? Bushful Might made a flying sheep. How cool is that? The Sheep MK2 fighter jet? This sheep is gonna shear you. And you even got cockpit view, works fantastic. Meh! Meh! Beautiful. You know, when I sit in my room and scream loudly, Meh! I wonder if my neighbors can hear me and what they think. Meh. Wow, 42 rockets. Taking down the bridge. I mean, some of them got a hit. How's the thing not broken? Shot like 20 rockets into it. What do you want from me? Never give up, never surrender. Well, that kind of works. But we still have these boats to fight. So let's let's see what we can make happen. Shoot! Damn it! Okay, two rockets. Oh, some coming towards us. No! Well, this thing is sinking, so I'm just gonna glide past there. Because that's a thing you do in this game. I still don't understand why, but your cockpit glides on water like it's nothing. Hey, how's it going? You sinking? You deserve it. You killed the sheep. We just keep sliding indefinitely. Killabot! Good times. I was always wondering, how could you make a motorbike even more unsafe? Put some wings on them! A flying motorcycle! That's probably the only way you could make a motorcycle even more unsafe. If you have to ride a motorcycle, don't fly it into a bridge. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. Well, it's a tree rocket. It's a tree rocket, alright? Sucks at flying, and it kinda sucks at being a tree. And at being a rocket, it's 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 really not good at anything. I mean, it's pretty good at exploding. Well, this one is called Wheatley's True Colors. <laughs> and it's based on the Wheatley you saw earlier. It's just recolor with rockets that he keeps exploding. Jeez. You just keep exploding, Wheatley. I don't know what it is. What a beautiful liftoff. God, there's so many rockets. Yep, can't can't lift up. Oh, I'm so scared that he's just gonna explode as soon as he leaves. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. If you build something, make sure it doesn't explode once it is in the air. Ooh, beautiful. What is that? That is a droplet. The droplet 2.0. I'm pretty sure this thing will go like Schmidt's Katze. And lift off. <laughs> Jesus. 190,000 miles per hour. We would reach the moon in less than two hours at this speed. That's 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 fairly impressive. I mean, I don't know where I'm where I'm going. I'm pretty sure I'm not going anywhere with this. But yes, droplet 2.0, beautiful. Uh, here we have the Blackburn Skua, the B-24, which was flown in the British Fleet Air Arm and saw service in the early part of World War II. I think I should have unfolded the wings. Yeah, that's safe bet. Pretty sure we use the VTOL controls. Ah, that's so cool. The nice thing about it is you can store it really well. You want you want to store a plane in your shed? Well, no problem. Just you know, lift them back up and you're good. Want to want to pretend you're a bird? No problem either. It actually gives it a little bit of lift when I do that. Yay! Okay. <laughs> 
You also got a nice big bomb, which I'm just gonna drop just for good measure. Yay! Wow. It never ceases to amaze me how loud these things are. Well, there's only one thing left to do. I like the backward shooting machine gun, very nice. The wheels going through the wings are a little bit awkward. Just a little bit. Ah! Very weird aerodynamics we have here. Okay. Alright, let's drop this beauty. Let's hope I hit. Let's hope I hit. Do I hit? Yay! We have been successful. The B-24 was successful. We got the bridge. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Simple Planes. If you did, please leave a like if you want me to check out your plane. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye.